Good evening. I am Professor Shack. Computers are playing an ever-important part in today's ever-quickening modern society. Take this dictionary, for example. Before the advent of computers, you would have to fumble through the entire dictionary in order to find your favorite word, such as Wankel Rotary. This entire word has been replaced by this 10-byte tape and a modern computer. In just moments from now, these technicians will hand me the results. Zip, zip. Ah. <laughs> Quick and easy. Let's take a look at the inside of this technological marvel. Packard, how is data input into the ABM 11 computing device? That's a good question, Billy. Data is entered into the computer via these punch cards. The information on these cards are written in ASCII code, or ASCII, a series of ones and zeros, on and off. The information on this card is one character. It could be a letter, A or B or C. It could be a number, one or two or five. These punch cards can be easily stored in boxes, such as these. These boxes contain a memorandum which these technicians are completing now. And the memo reads, ah, quick and easy. Hey, you guys down there, you think we could teach uh, computers to talk good like Billy? That's a good question, Billy. Our technicians predict that within a matter of decades, the computer will be able to mimic the human voice perfectly from the highest highs to the lowest lows. Let's listen. Isn't that realistic? All right. Okay, suppose I want parts for my hot rod, right? Is there any way through a computer that I, Billy, could view these parts on some sort of electronic catalog of, or something, and, uh, you know, I could send a message to my friend in Boston, yeah, yeah, and he could send it to, to Freddie up in, uh, in Jersey, and it'll be great. Is that freaking possible? Ha <laughs> ha. No, Billy. Although this technology may seem very futuristic, it is indeed very real. However, it is not Jules Verne or other such fiction. You have been reading far too many pulp magazines, Billy. Technicians are feverishly working on a storage capacity so vast, it staggers the imagination, including 100 bytes of information. Theoretically, this would be called an ultra byte. Perhaps our great-grandchildren will benefit from this amazing technology, and they will exclaim, quick and easy. Professor Packard. Will this new technology create career opportunities for young persons such as myself? 
Now, Jane, the future does not seem so bright for all of us because you're a girl and this is science. And if you truly want to get anywhere in this world, you too should be quick and easy. Our final stop on our trip to the future is a printing device so small it could potentially be used in the home. And is Whisper Quiet, much like this map and print and photographic quality so astounding. Ten dots per inch. Oh dear. A jam. But no, not to worry. We will have this problem fixed quick and easy. Zip zip. Oh shit. Uh, you can you can cut or edit my comment. You you can't. You you can't remove any anything I've said or this this blunder saying you would need a computer in order to preposterous. This fucking thing can barely handle tic tac fucking uh, tough. It took five years, three years to program this fuck play a game that takes two people, pen and a piece of paper, to play. Fuck you. You're out of your fucking uh, mind. This is government money we're talking about. Worth every penny. How bad my eyesight is. How bad, Professor? God, 